I hear John Lennon on the radio. Watching the wheels go round and round. Hello and welcome to today's version of the Wacko Jacko Comedy Hour, Politically Incorrect. Brought to you today at uh, Rite Aid in Encinitas. <laughs> I think we're in Encinitas, California. Please. Can I have this Encinitas cure, please? Here we are at the monkey butt anti monkey butt aisle right across from depends <laughs> it's an elderly community <laughs> say hi john hey gang yeah he's part of the wacko jacko backup crew anyway today's word or phrase of the day is anti monkey butt anti friction powder with calamine it puts a smile on your red monkey ass. <laughs> okay, bye Sorry. bye for now. Signing <laughs> Wacko Jack off. Check it out. Just fabulous recipes. Yeah? My goodness, yes, we've had baked apples, we've had strange granola recipes. And you know what else has been going on? What? We got a phone call from Gay Life TV, who has been playing us on their websites. Fabulous. They only picked five groups uh, from the, all of the United States to be on. And we're one of them. We're on Thursdays there. Thank you, Gay Life TV. GLTV, right? Dot com. Dot net. Yes, done that. Okay, cool. Isn't that fabulous? And they're now working as a TV studio named Out TV. Now, on Gay Life TV, we get 800 to 1,200 people a day watching us. Wow. And Out TV gets 20,000 to 50,000 people a day watching us. Fabulous. Are you, are you, are you, are you watching us all Hello. 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 Well, here's what you're gonna need. Let me give you, ladies, give you the list of ingredients. Okay. You're gonna need one pound. Of, here, why don't you model them? One cow. One. <laughs> one pound of ground beef. You're yeah. gonna need one pound, twelve or twelve ounce can of tomatoes. Okay. Diced. All right. Yeah. One cup chopped green pepper, which we figure is like about one one green pepper. What the heck? Very good. And a half cup chopped onion. Onion. I love onion. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. La la la. Uh, half cup uncooked rice. Now we just pick any rice, right? Yeah, I think any rice will work. All We're right. hoping the minute rice will work. What the heck? We'll find out. Uh, and one half teaspoon basil. Basil, coming right up. Mm -hmm. uh, dash of pepper. Dash of pepper. Very good. And a half pound cheese sliced. Any cheese you like? Yep. All right. Yes. Or shredded. Doesn't really matter. Oh, easy. You can just pick what you want to do. Nice. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, uh, we're going to cut the stuff up. We Why cut not? It up. Yeah. Perfect. So, I'll get to that. Okie dokie. Let's see. Here's a knife. Very good. Well, you know what? I'm going to show you a little secret here. Uh, Margaret, would you like to, um, 
to, to take that. Oh, that, sure. And so that's the drag this. cam. <laughs> the drag cam. Okay, yeah. here it goes. Okay, so on the green pepper, what you're going to want to do is remove the seeds. Just take that top part off. There we go. So we don't have the seeds in there. Perfect, DJ. And boy, is that quick. It is. Now, I myself do not like, uh, I don't love green pepper. I really don't. And, and it's not something I've ever really enjoyed. So I'm going to cut these pretty small, because in small doses I can handle it. Excellent. And then we're going to cut it smaller again. Sure. Now, how do you feel about green pepper, Margo? I love all vegetables, except for tomatoes. <laughs> really? Well, I can have tomatoes in things, but not just raw. Okay. So I do know, being of the healthy persuasion, <laughs> that all vegetables have antioxidants that heal your cells and prevent cancer. That is true. You know, all so, vegetables are so good for maintaining your health. Pile them on. Pile them on. Now, one, one thing I don't like um, and maybe this is because I used to have issues with heartburn, but things are going so much better with that. There, that's a nice oh, yummy. small pieces. Yeah, oh, that was work. quick. Yeah. Very good. So scoop those into our pan. All right. You know, um, yeah, we're going to actually make, put all of our ingredients in. <laughs> that is cowpuncher hat. Yeah. <laughs> With attitude. Oh. All right. Excellent. And the next thing we do, ladies, is, and this is just not something fun, as you know, is dicing onions. Okay, dicing onions, a little trick, you probably already know this, but when you dice an onion, you take a couple toothpicks and you put them right here as you're cutting. Now, what actually happens is that um, the uh, what is that? The aroma? Yes. The old odiferous stuff coming up from the onion actually gets absorbed into the wood. Gets absorbed into the wood so that um, you do not tear. Let's see if it works. First of all, great, BJ. Mm -hmm. Take off the first layer here. Yeah, the first layer is kind of hard, isn't mm -hmm. it? And it really isn't tasty. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> Very good. Very good, BJ. I didn't have a chance to do my nails today. I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> huh. Okay. So far, so good, ladies. I can, I can kind of, I can kind of sense the onions, but I sense them last. Okay. Yeah, you're not tearing up at all. No. So that's incredible. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Very good. Okay, ladies, we're gonna add the onions. Welcome back! Well, thank you! <laughs> I went to camera school. Yeah! <laughs> We're going to add the onions to the mixture. Oh, and they're potent. So those toothpicks must have really worked. Yeah, because you can smell them, can't Oh, you? yeah. Yeah, cool. Now, we're going to add the uh, tomato juice. I'm sorry. Petite sliced tomatoes. I'll turn on the... The heater, the oven. Okay. You're so helpful. Well, sure. Thank you so much. These things moving here. Okay. Oh. By the way, I haven't been in this kitchen for a while. That's true. What have you been up to? <laughs> I have been so busy traveling. Oh, really? So I, people, it's fabulous being back. It's good to see you again. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. Um, so I'm a little like, oh, oh camera, it's so scary. <laughs> oh, it is, it we're is. glad to have you back too. Well, thank yeah. you. Can I hummock sauce? Here. Um, get out my uh, readers. Uh, <laughs> half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon. Okay. Oh. 
That is cute. That but is give me cute. something real. Here's what she got here. A smidgen, a pinch, and a dash. Isn't that cute? Look at that. <laughs> but these might be more helpful. Yeah. Half teaspoon, huh? What would be helpful is I had eyes. Yes, young, fresh eyes. Okay. Mm. Half teaspoon. Okay, there we go. And how much of uh, the basil? Half a teaspoon of basil. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that knife just went down. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> that could have been real. <laughs> Little too. Is that half? Yep. Oh. Granny for us. Mm. <laughs> I'm still attached to certain parts. <laughs> she's, she's got parts. <laughs> Excellent. And a dash of pepper. Well, now you can actually use those. I can. A dash of pepper. Which one's the dash? Dash. Very cool. Okay. Well, interesting. Ash, huh? Mm-hmm. Ground beef. Oh. Okay. But just ground it us all together. Okay. That's fine. No, come on. This is going to be enough, like, um, let's use that second can of tomato. Do you have that? Sure. Why not? It doesn't look like there's going to be enough moisture. Okay. To help the rice there. Sure. Put in the ground beef. Moo moo. We used the lean. That's us. That's how we keep these girlish figures. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. In goes the ground beef. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. And that's it. You just throw it. Well, we need to put in the rice too. Oh. Get sure. measuring cups. Well, you need yes. Half cups. cups. Yes. The half a cup, huh? All right, half a cup coming up. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> it's not a lot. Well, this is quite a crazy recipe. Yeah. I bet it feeds tons. It does. <laughs> like two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a little snack. That would be tough. And half time football. <laughs> now we're going to mix it all up. All right. Um, Any more of these? I'll take a spatula. Gonna do. Thank you. Thank you. Then what we're gonna do after we get it all mixed up is put it on the heat, and we're gonna leave it there for about 25 minutes. So the brown be ground beef is nice and brown, and the rice is softened, and everything's browned up and good. Now that hamburger grease is gonna get in there and help the rice get oh, all soft. Yummy! What a neat little trick. Very good. So I'm gonna put it on the heat. All right. It's on the heat. Now, you only stir, ladies, you only stir occasionally. So, what you're going to do is after it's browned up, cover and let simmer. Cover and let simmer for 25 minutes. Okay? We'll put this on here and get the heat going. And ladies, come on back here, Marco. Thank you, you for went, showing you, us you that. You off again to <laughs> that camera school. Yes. Fabulous. But uh, we are going to uh, be back. When? In 25 minutes. You See you it. then. Bye bye. Bye bye. deciduous forest tree that is losing their leaves. Not quite as colorful as home. Oh, Danny, I wonder what's up around this corner. Do you think we'll be able to see Seattle? The home of Gray's Anatomy.
seen in the Space Needle? We'll find out. Cool, man. Right on I-5. I-5. In point 
six miles. Keep right, then exit left. Exit left? Keep right and then exit left? Oh. I don't uh, know. I don't know. What the heck? What does that mean? What does that mean, Garmin? Keep right. Maybe you will it go like this over? I don't know. Watching the Nancy Boys. Oh. <laughs> You're watching the Nancy Boys. Hey, ladies, I just wanted to show you um, a little bit of what it looks like in the process. So, when you're stirring for that 25 minutes occasionally, this is what it's going to start to look like. That looks wonderful, BJ. Doesn't it? I love it. Oh, it's much prettier than when we started. <laughs> And you want to know something interesting? Notice how the, the pieces are so much smaller. Like normally when I uh, ground uh, brown beef for the uh, hamburger helper or whatnot, sure. you, know, you end up with bigger chunks. I think the tomatoes and the juice in here create that hash like the beef just breaks down completely. Yeah. So isn't that interesting? Very good. We'll be back at you later. They do, because there's certainly enough of it, but... We ain't selling certain things. Well, you know, you got to do what you're good at. <laughs> Which is why I don't do... So oh, hi! <laughs> hi! Hello. How are you, Martika? Well, I was talking to myself, apparently, and I didn't even know it. Uh, so I, I 
fabulous. I'm a little touched, but I'm okay. Well, it must be interesting to live with yourself. I mean, you're such a fascinating person. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? I try. How do you construct your life? Because you you get to read so many fabulous books. Mm -hmm. I know you're like a, a great patron of the library. Yeah. Yes, and you're zooming into the webs. Right? Mm -hmm. So what do you do? How do you, do you go, you know what I really want in my life is to be this, this, and this? Or how do you get that to happen? Well, you know, we've been having conversations about that lately, you and I. Yes! About trying to live authentically and consciously about the direction you want to go in. Consciously. I and love And I think it. it takes, you have to really sit down and meditate on the things that you think you're going to need and that you want. And just realize that if you want them, it's okay to ask for them. And put the energy out there Very into the universe to bring them to you. How would you ask? What things do you do? Well, I do a lot of meditation, so my asking is in the form of concentrating specifically on changes that I want to see come about. I do Very it all internally. Good. Very good. But if I want to make it external, I journal. Oh, it can be two different aspects. Yeah. Of bringing the things you do want into your life. Because as you write them down, yes. they clarify themselves. Oh, sure. Not Skippy only shorts, um, tea tag, tea shop, tea yeah. shorts. Uh, or the weight that makes you look good in those things. Yes, absolutely. Yes, but meditation quiets your mind. You know, sometimes my mind just kind of races and falls all over itself. And I've got all these thoughts going on. I hear meditation kind of gives you a little space. Well, you know, much as you might have heard from other people that you're the only soul that ever happens to, yeah. don't believe it. Because it happens in every human being's head, whether they admit to it or not. The thoughts just keep coming. And we have to turn that background stuff off. Try. And meditation helps with that? It does, for me. Okay. It doesn't always okay. work for everyone, but it All certainly right. works for me. Oh, sure. And there, you don't have to go through a structured way to meditate. Okay. Some people would even say that meditation is another way of praying. Mm, I can see where because it is. Because the point of, sure. of prayer is to go to the life force that you believe in, the deity that you believe in, and say, this is what I would like. Yes. And you can do the same through meditation. Sure. And there are some that believe meditation is a form of prayer anyway. It depends on what you believe, but... Interesting stuff. You have to work in a method that's true to you. Naked or... Well, however, certainly fun for those around to watch. Or not so fun, and that's why you're by yourself when you do it. Pretty much. Yeah, well, me too, girl. <laughs> Pretty much. Think I look this fabulous without a girdle on? Oh my God, no. That's why they had to bring them back. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. Now the streets here are really hilly. We've been walking and walking and walking and walking. And uh, I'm tired, that's why I'm sitting down. It's really, the air is fr crisp. Um, when the sun's out, it's really great. But it is a lot of walking up and down hill, which is kind of exciting. That's what you want to see when you're on vacation, something different. We've got kale and pansies, and it's November 15th, and stuff's still growing here. Sugar maples haven't lost their leaves. It's pretty great. Love it. Take a look. 
Yeah, see what I mean by the streets? What? Oh, look at all the people down there. There's a bunch of people in a couple blocks. This is getting prettier.
By the way, yeah. this monorail goes right back to the sky thing. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. If you're tired, we can. Oh. We'll figure it out. And actually, that'd be a great photo op. Oh, yeah, that does. I love holding it. What are we doing now, Dan? Take a sky ride to the New York Seattle Space Needle. Really? Let's go. Let's go. Hey everybody, we're just taking off from the West Lake Center. Here at uh, downtown Seattle. Yeah. Going back to the Fire Hotel. And we're going to go have dinner at the Space Needle and also explore that. The rock something, I don't know what it is. But we'll show you about more about that later. But enjoy the panoramic view.
very far at all, I guess. <laughs>
this kitchen. I know what it is. It's cow puncher hash. Well, how wonderful. Shall we go sample it? Yum, yum. Give me some. Very good. I'll go get some. All right. I'll film. Oh, you don't need to. You sure? Yeah, we're good. Oh, it we're looks good. like hash. Yeah. That is so funny. Imagine! I don't know why! Ash, that looks like Ash! Wow! So this was on there for about 25 minutes or so, huh? Correct! Okay! And then what you do is you top with the cheese of your choice, your favorite flavor. Oh! Now, honey, I think pepper jack would be especially delightful. Oh, you? that would add an edge. Yes, a culinary edge. So, as you can see, I put a little cheese on top of there. I'm going to put it in the microwave for just 15 seconds. Oh, to melt that cheese yeah. on top? Well, that is a great idea. And I'll continue to stir. Sure. <sighs> Said with feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, this is an easy recipe to feed probably, I don't know, six, eight people probably. I think so. And it was really quick. I guess it's done. Let's have them take a look at those. Oh, what do you think, everybody? I like it. Don't they look hot? Ooh la la, let's dig in. Go ahead. Ooh. It's going to be almost too hot, I think. Ooh, be careful. Ooh. Maybe just a little. Yeah. One. I'm going to blow on it. Who cares? Very tasty. Extremely tasty. Very good. I like how it. quick that was. It was excellent. Good. Fun. Mm. One more time. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Very good, BJ. And thank thanks, you. Emma. Oh, or is it BJ's? I don't know. <laughs> She's mixed. Um, She's a little mixed up. Well, fabulous. Thanks for coming to another great episode of Eat Me! Yes! Yes! Goodbye, everybody! Bye. Goodbye! Lighter, but it has the wonderful fruit flavor, you know, that is very nice. Mm. Hey, I don't think this raspberry is going to come out of this wooden spoon. I know. Yeah, that is a, a problem with the grain. Oh, it doesn't matter. Mm. It might be better. Well, yeah, it's going to be a while. We'll put it through a couple of times. Oh, it doesn't matter. It won't hurt it. Mm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Murder? Where's the where's the hash end up? It's in there. It's in a Tupperware. It's in here. Oh, you yeah. You're way ahead. Yeah. Cool. And send home the cheese too. Where is it? And that's out here somewhere. Could be. Wow. Oh, here it is. Yep. Okay. We try. When would we try all these desserts ever? This show lets us try stuff. You know? Well, it motivates us to actually do the work. Yeah. Because I would be too lazy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of us would just lay around, honestly, I think. Do I look like someone <laughs> who puts effort into something? I wouldn't be this fat. I did. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was good.
there. Oh, 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 I should probably put this in a separate thing. Yeah. So I have all day to be lazy tomorrow and then I have to go to a show that JoJo did tomorrow night. Oh, nice. So I probably won't do some mental two or three Ooh. on Monday morning. Oh, God. Oh, that's hideous. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm over 30. I have, I have difficulty <laughs> doing it. You too. know, it's like, oh. And I just did it a little while ago. Oh, God. I don't know what was that Okay. Mm. Hi, Nancy. You? Oh. Yum. Is it gluten, gluten Well, I'm still standing here, so I'm not. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. 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 What's that? You just want all this off of you? Huh. <laughs> the shoes, the earrings, the paint. Yes, most of the time. <laughs> 